Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to teach mom about the Gmail spam folder on an iPhone. You're going to understand the Gmail spam folder better. You're going to know how to use the promotional folder and the social folder. You're going to know how to retrieve mail that might have gone to the spam folder without wanting it to and mark it as safe so that person can email you in the future. And by the way, we're going to teach you how to take spam emails and automatically throw them into this spam folder. We're going to do this all on an iPhone, so let's get started. All right, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. I'm going to show you in this video how to use the spam folder, the promotions folder, and the, uh, what's it called, the social folder, which is all pretty much just spam <laughs> in your Gmail inbox, okay? So this is all from an iPhone. You can do this on an Android and you can also do this on the computer. But in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to do it on an iPhone. If you click on the hamburger, the three lines right here, you'll see all of your folders or labels, your inbox, okay? And you'll see that there's a social folder. This is everything that comes in. Um, it's pretty much spam. It's everything that the social networks remind you. It's those it's those updates. Somebody posts a new video on YouTube, all those different things that we all get from our social networks, they all end up in the social folder. Then there's the promotion. This is pretty much spam. This is people uh, emailing you and trying to sell you stuff. And then there's the actual spam folder, okay? Spam, you'll never see in your inbox. If Gmail thinks it's spam or if you've created a filter telling Gmail that whenever this person emails me, it's spam, then that's what you'll find in the spam folder. So the reason that you have a spam folder as opposed to it just going into the garbage can is because sometimes somebody emails you and it gets marked as spam by Gmail, but it is an email you actually wanted or needed. So let's say somebody emails you and they're like, I sent the email and you look in your inbox, you can't find it. Well, there's a good chance it ended up in the spam folder. And the way you'd get there is to go to, the, go to your inboxes under the hamburger and scroll down to the spam folder. If you find an email in the spam folder that you want, you simply click on that email and you report it not as spam. See that button that says report not as spam? You click that. What that's going to do, it's going to move it out of your spam folder into your general inbox. It's now somewhere buried in this inbox that I've got here, okay? The other thing that it does is it means that from then on when that person emails me, it's not going to get marked as spam and it will show up safely in my primary inbox. So that's one thing that's cool about the spam filter, the, the spam folder. It allows you to recover emails that shouldn't have been in the spam in the first place. Now, you'll want to empty this every so often. Every 30 days it will delete them, but to keep your inbox low on usage or if you ever get that message that says cannot send email or or you can't use your email because the inbox is full, you can delete everything from your spam folder by simply clicking this blue empty spam now and it will delete all of the emails that are in your spam folder. Clean that out for you. Okay. <coughs> now there's also the social and promotions which are pretty much spam as well. Same thing, you can go through these and look for emails that you might have missed, or you can just delete them all. Let me show you how to delete them one by one, and then I'll show you how to bulk delete them from your social folder on the iPhone. If you swipe right, it will automatically delete it. Now, I've got to point out, yours might not automatically delete it. If it doesn't, when you swipe right, if it doesn't give you that trash can on the left to delete it, you're going to want to change that in the settings. That's a setting that I set up by going to the hamburger, scrolling down to settings, and clicking on mail swipe actions right here, where it says right swipe trash. You click on that, and that's where you can change what it does when you swipe right. Okay, You can have archive, trash, mark as read, snooze, or move to. I like... <coughs> I like and I recommend you do the same is that you set the right swipe to trash so every time you swipe right it throws it away and you set the left swipe to move to so that every time you swipe left you can move it to the appropriate label or folder. So I just needed you to know that so that if you try to 
delete something by swiping right and it doesn't let you, that's why. Okay. Now let me show you how to bulk delete everything from your spam folder or from your social folder in this case. Click on the hamburger again, go to your settings, and change the conversation list density, change that to compact, and click OK. Now you'll notice that you have checkboxes by each email. Select all of those checkboxes. Okay? And you can do this way faster, by the way, on a computer, but this is how you do it on an iPhone. You select all those, and then if I want to just delete them, I click this trash can at the top, and it deleted everything from my social folder. We now do the same thing for our promotions folder. Okay, go to the promotions. We can swipe right and delete things from the promotions folder, or we can bulk delete. If we've got the list density setting set to compact, we can select everything, then click the trash can, and it deletes everything all at once. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about the spam folder, the social folder, and the promotions folder. Just remember that spam is anything that Gmail thinks is spam or you think is spam and you set up a filter for it to go there. So all you're ever going to do with the spam is if there's an email you need to recover that might have ended up there, you're going to go look for that email and mark it as not spam. The only other thing you'll ever do with the spam is just empty it every once in a while if, you're, if your inbox gets full. Okay. Then social and promotions to keep your inbox clean, you're going to want to delete those every so often because they're pretty much spam. And same thing, you can move emails out of those folders into a label that you actually would pay attention to it in if it's something that is important, if it is an email that you want. I hope that helps. Now click and watch the rest of these videos on Gmail. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.